I've been warned this is going to be painful. This might be the first taste of sorrow. Secret Agent Alex on the prowl. <laughs> It's been two weeks since we got stranded on Necropolis. Everyone is anxious to discover when we'll be heading out on our next assignment, which is why I've been stalking the Breach Lab, checking every day for signs of activity, and oh boy, the lab is busy. Looks like one of the other Breacher teams has scored the mother load. That's a lot of Quicksilver. That means we shouldn't have to use the worm tunnels again. And it also means... <gasps> Excuse me! Pardon me! Coming through! Hey, watch where you're going. You could have hurt somebody. Greg! Greg! They found more! Already? Hell, I knew this vacation was going to get cut short. Beat sitting around here, though. Where's Cassius? Last I saw him, they were hiding from Vo in the mess hall. Thanks! Cassius! Ah! Oh, thank God. It's you, Alex. What? They found more Quicksilver! We might get moving soon! Fuck yeah! No more being stuck at base with Vo. Oh dear. Y'all really headed out so soon? I'm afraid we'll have to, June. Silas already solved Breach Force Sigil, and I'm sure Beckett will be on our asses soon. I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm gonna let the others know. Baby, you be careful running around so fast. Lizzie! Lizzie! Whoa! Whoa! What's going on? They found more Quicksilver. We're not gonna be stuck anymore. We'll have things to do and places to go. Oh, dear. I mean, oh, that's great. Yeah, we'll get moving again. I assume you're excited? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, I'm gonna go let everyone else know. She's gone. Be careful! You're going to hurt yourself. Run for someone else. Jay! Uh, no. No, no. No! Oh, I died! You killed me! I was so close! Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. It don't matter. <laughs> I'm only trying to beat this game because you did. Thanks for lending it to me, by the way. Uh, what's up? They found more Quicksilver! We're finally gonna move again! No more being cooped up! Oh great! Wonderful! More danger, more injuries, more walking... Uh, don't be a sourpuss. Didn't you tell me you were getting sick of Yana Space? I was happy playing the same game for two weeks, I swear! And running around the same hallways! And not seeing the sun or the stars! Uh, don't forget story time with Silas is just so entertaining. Uh-huh. Uh, don't be mean. I know you're dying for some fresh air. Speaking of Sai, have you seen him? Not in his room. I saw him walk out a while ago. Uh, not sure he was heading. He didn't say much. And you didn't think that was... odd? I mean, yeah. But I'm a medic, not a shrink. If he wanted to talk to somebody, he'd, he'd talk to Cass. Or, or he'd walk right up to me and fill me in on the full history of the Byzantine Empire while I shriveled up oh, like a... like a history lesson would hurt you. Would you stick around to listen? Anyway, I'm gonna go see if I can find him. Good luck. Where are you off to in such a hurry? Oh, Miss Vo! I, I was just, um... Crying eyes again? No, no, no. <laughs> okay, yeah, I was. I am really sorry. In that case, you'd be better off helping me. What? Come along, quit gawking. I'm, uh, okay, okay. Silas is in there, having a meeting with Beckett. Why? I'm going to find out. With your help. Here. This maintenance corridor runs alongside Beckett's office. 
I have no reason to be in there, but I can convince anyone else you needed access, since you've been so helpful to the IT department. Run along, and see if you can catch anything from the adjoining wall. I'll keep an eye out. Oh, okay. Why does Miss Foe not know something? That's almost scarier than running into her. I guess I don't really have a choice. Let's see what you guys are up to. This must be the meeting room. I think I can slip the recorder near the wall outlet. Trauma, but we can't discount the idea that there may be something trying to make contact with you in the breach. The idea is just so monumentally difficult to grasp. And why only Alex and I? I'm afraid I don't have an answer for that. We're dealing with entities who may be far beyond our abilities to comprehend. If that's the case, then why are we still making attempts at exploration? Because inaction is just as damning, Caldwell. Once Pandora's box has been opened, there can never really be any putting it away again. We can try and hide the presence of the breach, but eventually someone will find it. Just like Vincula did. And the better we understand how it works, the better our chances of finding a way to combat any threats. You know this song and dance by now, surely. Aren't we woefully ill-equipped to deal with any threats? Just a small foot team, only two of which carry firearms? On the contrary. If you were dealing with a vastly superior nation, would you want tanks and infantry to go first? Or scientists and linguists? If we're to have any shot at a peaceful interaction, we need to understand whoever is on the other side and their language. Breacher Team Alpha is more than capable of accomplishing that. But what if they are hostile? Or unthinking, violent, feral, like so many other Breach creatures? <laughs> if they mean us harm, well, then we're already living in that subset of the Fermi Paradox where a greater intelligence beyond Earth could have always wiped us out. We'd already be doomed but we're willing to take the risk of further exploration for the chance to establish a more diplomatic route. And that could involve... That may involve unpleasant means of communication. Please understand, I'm not trying to condescend to you when I ask you to be ready to encounter more of these strange whisperings. I'm not doing so flippantly. First contact is bound to present dangers, both to humanity and Alpha Team. But who better to receive these messages? Perhaps through these messages we could understand, and we may yet have a happy ending to this whole situation, through your efforts. The prospect is terrifying. You're not the one that has to explain to the President just how little we have to explain. <laughs> I kid. Still, I understand your fear. I served on a few combat patrols and had some close calls. Here's what you must keep fixed in your mind. Rest easy knowing you have a much more formidable team behind you here at Yanis Base than you did with Vincula. And Team Alpha, all on its lonesome, has proven itself in the face of insurmountable odds. You can rely upon them. And yourself. I'll... I'll try to remember that. Now then, it falls to me to inform you that operations resume tomorrow. A steady supply of volatile Quicksilver has been found, and your journey to Depth 4 may commence. Get some rest, Caldwell. So soon. Ugh. I'll do my best. Are they done? I guess I better... Get me Vincula. Oh? Richardson. Beckett. I have confirmation the linguist has made contact. Yes. He has taken to confiding in me. Yes. Yes, we have secured a new supply. Operations resume tomorrow. Everything is going even faster than we'd hoped. It will be a few days before they reach Breach 4, but you can expect an update in roughly a week's time. Mm-hmm. Back it out. He's gone. I better get out of here. You're coming with me, little guy. It's 
Silas Caldwell, Expedition Report, first outing to Breach 4. We successfully arrived last night at the third Chimney Shroom Forest, the, the one with the ancient domiciles. After a rest and another fond look at the fantastic table atop the watchtower, we are now ready to attempt entry into Depth 4. Lucky for us, you already got what we needed, huh? Yes. <laughs> that, that was a stroke of luck. We would have been able to find worm scales any old time. We didn't need the linguist to be a hero for that. I wasn't trying to rub it in or anything. All right, knock it off, you two. Y'all are sounding like a bunch of old hens pecking at each other like that. Look who's thrilled we're leaving Necropolis. I haven't seen you this happy on the march since the old Gaia days. Hell yeah. We got breacher teams bringing us supplies so we won't have to be going back and forth as much. Can't say I'll miss Dev 3. I'm going to miss Scout. That's about it. Nothing to see and do on Necropolis. Unless you like long walks in the cold. Don't get your hopes up. I remember what Silas told us about this depth. Yes. I'm not too thrilled about this one either. Uh, Here's the pedestal. Link stone. In place. Placing a minuscule portion of the ice worm scale on the stone. Activation successful. Oh, gross! That smells awful! Uh, it's not too bad. Earthy, rich, smells like damp soil with worms in it. Maybe a little fungal? It smells like shit to me. Anything on the atmosphere alarms? Not yet. Then it should be breathable. Let's take a look. What new horrors await us? Which of Team Alpha is getting into trouble this time? Find out next time on- Nobody, if I have any say in it. If there's any trouble, we'll just get Alex and chuck some more snowballs at him. You brought some with you, right? I did. I brought some in a thermos. For good luck. Hey, girl. Can I have some? Sure. I'll give you some when you need them. Like now? That would just be wasting luck. You have to give it sparingly. I don't know. I feel like I need all the luck I can get these days. It's right here. Ready for when something bad actually happens. Cheer up. We'll figure this depth out, just like all the others. You're way too happy about these trips. Somebody has to be. We might be the first human seeing these places. You should try being excited too. Fine, if you say so. Wow. Look, everyone. A really exciting bug. I hope it doesn't eat us. <laughs> You're hilarious. So I want to make sure the linguist is tethered to something. I wouldn't want him getting lost again before we... Uh, we, uh... Whoa. You still got the recorder? I've got it. It's running. We've emerged on depth four, and we seem to be in a large cave. I mean, huge. The dome of the roof is visible above, about 40, 50 meters high. It's not dark, though. There's some kind of natural lighting. Ooh, there's stuff on the walls emitting bioluminescence. And... Whoa! (gasps) There are... It looks like there's fire. Spewing from the walls? Are, Are those torches? It looks natural, like it's part of the wall itself. Let's get a closer look. Oh, this is not going to be easy. We're in an underground swamp. That goes a long way to explaining this odor. Hold. I hear it. Now, can I have a snowball? I think we're fine. I'm okay, but we're split up. 
We can't jump across the gap! What do we do now? The breach is gone! It fell down the chasm! Just hang on. We'll figure something out. Greg, look out! Greg! It's on your back! Help him! Get it off of him! You guys, run! Get to safety! We're not alone! We're surrounded! Don't run! What about... Jay! Come on! Move! We have to run! We Come have on, to run! Come on, you two! I found a tunnel! A, a tunnel? No, I, I can't! Where does it go? Not here! That's good enough! Move it, Silas! Okay. Okay. I think we lost them. We... We may have lost ourselves. This looks uncomfortably like the worm tunnels on Acropolis and those creatures in the swamp. We don't have any other options. We're stuck here, the three of us, and we need to find a way around or some way to get down to the breach again. Uh, Lizzie's right. We can't go back. There's too many swamp monsters. We can... Hope the tunnel loops around, or, or gives us a better view, or something. This, this is a terrible idea. Then you go back and let us know when it's all clear, oh great and mighty worm hunter. But Cass said not to get caught, so that's what I'm going to do. I hope they're safe. And hey, at least they ended up with Greg. You guys got the short end of the stick. Why? Because I'm here? I meant... because you got me instead. I'm sure that's what you meant. Now, now, let's try not to fight each other. We may each find this to be very unfortunate, but... <sighs> if we keep moving, uh, maybe we'll find the others, and... Shut up, Sai! Now's not the time for a pep talk. Sorry, I... Don't apologize either, you big wet noodle. Just keep moving. Well, ain't this just a day at the beach? You too! The, uh, the tunnel's widening. Oh, thank God. I can breathe again. Even though... We're still underground. Looks like another dome. There must be pockets of these swamps. At least it's well lit. There are a few other tunnels on the walls. Do you think? Some of these might loop around here. Wait. I brought some glow sticks. We should be able to find our way back if we need to. How do we get anywhere? There might be more swamp monsters here. There are patches of dry ground, see? Let's try to be sneaky. I think it's the only way. Carefully and quietly. Don't make any noise. Oh dear. Silas! Aw, oh, hell. Make a break for it! Ooh! They cut us off! Get back! We can't! We're trapped! Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Stay close! What do we do? Oh shit. It's it's the beetles. From the table. They killed the worm! With their spears! They're hunting! Oh my god! They're they're huge! Have they noticed us? We should get out of here. Too late. Oh my god. Shh. Wait, wait. We're, we're friendly. We're. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, hold on, hold on. Why don't we mean you no harm? Put your hands up, both of you. Uh, okay. I don't think they understand us. What do we do? Keep your hands up. They haven't skewered us yet. Maybe we can talk our way out of this. 
Do you recognize what they're saying? I, I have no idea. I, I can't just magically. We have to do something. Try to speak to them, Silas. What if I insult them or, or say the wrong thing? I, I don't think we have a lot of time. Try something. Okay, okay, okay. Abratu. Belde ikti. Belde ikti. Hum. Hum garibun. Shahara. Talana fakat. Shia kreaka. What did you say? I just said we were humans. Human friends. I tried to use Acadia. I thought it might work. Do you think these are the book people? I have no idea. I... Is he motioning to us? I think so. Rock. All right, all right. I'm moving. I'm moving. Guess we don't have a choice. Can you see our cave from here? Yeah, it's behind us. I'm going to try to leave the glow sticks. If I can do it without getting caught. No, I'm not. That was a terrible throw. There's a chance they won't see it. Oh, fuck. They're taking us down another tunnel. Just keep breathing, Sai. You're gonna be fine. We can't stop now. Who knows what they do to you? They're extremely well adapted to the tunnels, I can see. Despite their bulk, they keep their legs tucked to the side and barely manage to squeeze inside. And they're moving so fast. That also means there's no way out. They... they have us trapped in here. I'm... I'm going to be sick. Hey, 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 don't think about it. We're still moving. We're gonna get out of this tunnel. Let's... think about something else, like... like your favorite topic. Death. Maybe we're gonna get fed to some beetle babies. Or a beetle queen. Beetles don't have queens. Those are answer bees. The beetles brought the worm carcass they speared with them. They haven't killed us, so maybe the swamp worm is their food? There's a chance they might want to at least talk to us first. We can hope. I can talk my way out of anything. See ya, Tamiyash. What into anything? Ice going. Does... Does anyone have a plan? Not a clue. We're improvising, like we always do. Hopefully whatever you said doesn't get us killed, Silas. As Jay said, we can hope. The tunnel's opening up. Looks like another dome up ahead. There's so much light. Is it? Whoa. Whoa. Is right. Zuman, Zuman, Najitan, Daruna Khan, Zargunati. This must be their home. Silas, look. The whole village. It's supported on a giant mushroom. It looks like a chimney shroom, but this is the biggest one we've seen yet. There's a whole city on top of it. There are huts and strange tubes all along the cap. Are we going up? It looks like they're taking us up there. We'll get to have a closer look. Oh, great. Today is our lucky day. This can't be the worst way to die. Execution by beetle people, I mean. Especially not if we get to have a look around first. Hunter, zombie, to war. They're letting us in. That must have been the password. Quick, Silas, memorize that. Somehow I doubt they let me in with just a password, Jay. I don't think I sound much like a beetle person. Ah, uh, quit pushing! I want up there as bad as you do. Come on, dirty wood, Trabor. On the floor. Silas, 
this is incredible. There's a whole civilization up here. Look at the huts. Look at all the beetles. Look at this. Look at that fire pit. Are they drying worm hide on it? They must have a use for worm leather. They're all coming out of their huts to look at us. Oh, there's so many. While you two are enjoying the view, I don't like how they're talking and waving at us. Listen, if we do get split up, it's been nice knowing you guys. Hush now. We'll figure something out. If it comes down to it, perhaps I might convince them that linguists are fine cuisine and everyone else will cause indigestion. Nah, I tell them it's the medic that's good eating. You know what? I've decided. I'd rather throw myself in the boiling pot than hear you two whining any... Look at the walls! The walls of the huts, they're covered in worm hide! They make efficient use of the worm's corpse to construct their houses. Clever. That's our out! Human skin makes terrible leather. How do you know that? Alex makes me watch a, a lot of really creepy documentaries. Maybe they'll tan our hides into vellum. We'll all be books or scrolls. I don't think I'd mind that, actually. I swear to all the gods, Silas, any more gallows humor and... He's injured. Cassius? Let me Cassius, Let are, are you there? Where are you? Guys? Oh, thank fuck. Is that everyone? Where's Greg? He's hurt, but the beetles won't let me near him. I'm all right, for now. Jay, Jay, please. I don't know how to help him. Alex! Vic, a cough. My turn, I hear Dr. Kern. Why, you... Take it easy, Jay. Alex, both of y'all. No fast moves, you hear me? Jay, a cough. Whoa! Ouch! At least the gang's all together again. What do we do? <sighs> I... I don't know. I think they're deciding our fate up in that taller building in the center. The beetles with spears keep coming and going from there. I was trying to help Greg, but I guess they got tired of my shit and tossed me in this cage. Just <sighs> do what Greg says. Play it cool for now. While you're still free, you might have a chance to escape. How would we ever get past the lift? That's a long drop off the chimney shroom. Guys. Guys. We have to do something about Greg soon. I'm fine, I'm telling you. I'll hold out for a while longer. I can't get over there with the warriors watching our every move. Someone's coming! I'm coming. Me? Why me? Oh, God. It's because you said something. Yeah, thanks for that. What did you say? Megatol! I'm going. I'm going. Leave him alone! Silas, no, wait! I... Uh... The rock. Fuck you, buddy. It'll be just fine. I'm just going to have a chat with this important-looking beetle whose language I can't speak. Anya la me hadat black, shagir, hante me, nim antayata, kaba shagir. Okay, focus. Let's try Akkadian again. Or at least the closest I can approximate. Ah, abratu, belde ikti, bu tubu. Parganus Rabasu. Just climb a hoo. Hamar Naya. Masal Drabor. Dark Taya Lamka Gultan. The elder's not changing his tongue. Uh, maybe I can try Hebrew? My spoken Hebrew is rubbish. Shalom. Enosh. Haver. Hamar Fulin. Daktaya hakar, baya an hakundakara, jabar ahad neda. Maybe, maybe French? Why would they speak French or, 
or Hebrew for that matter. What else? Oh, oh, he's making a drawing. This must be for me. Ante mean. There's a big circle with huts, huts on top. That's the village. And there's lines pointing from me to the village. Oh, he wants to know how we got here. That must be this Ante mean. <sighs> My art skills are horrendous. This really should have been Lizzie's job. But I suppose a breach isn't all that hard to draw. Just a few big circles around and around. A little dark spot for the entrance there. Oh, wait. I wonder if it was wise to do that. Hora. Arahraka. Utara Haraka. Utara La Haraka. La Maya Ratstada. A coon. Who like a new green Enoch? Lama Bayaan. Well, that's earned me more drawings after what appeared to be a heated debate between the leader beetle and what looks like the chief warrior. <gasps> oh, 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 that's, that's the sigil from Breach 4. They understood me. Uh, okay, uh, how, how, do, how do I prove we came from there? The link stone went down with the breach, presumably. Uh, maybe if I draw a picture of the stone, they might already know how the breach works. Here's the same sigil in a small circle. I'll draw little bands on the stone and then arrows to the breach. See? Um, let's see. And then uh, there's a pedestal about halfway with the same sigil on it. We placed the stone on, on the pedestal. Ugh. I never knew how hard verbs were to draw. Alon Sumal Ajara! Ajara! Watawa Raka! So you're the horse. Katawa! Bahad Raka! Oh dear. That's got the chief beetle warrior running off somewhere. Any luck up there? Greg still needs help. How do I help Greg? Uh, how do I draw... Injury? Uh, death? Medical help? Maybe a skull. They're not going to know what a human skull looks like. Uh, pantomime is my only option. Um, let's try some more Acadian. Sibu! Bakumatu! Asuti! Uh, asutu! Abratu! Makraku! Baltitu Mahasu! Abratu! Belde Ikti! Adanika! Adanika! Ad Trayak Shakir Ramana Ilya Sayada Hataj Minatar. Hey, what's the big idea? It's all right. Uh, I think they're letting you see Greg. Mayna, Mayna. Okay, okay, okay. I'm moving. I'm moving. <sighs> Thank you, Gimlu. Nice work. Now, can you tell him to get me out of here? I'll behave. I. Don't want to tell our host of fabrication so early in our diplomatic sessions. First of all, fuck you and your big grin. Second of all, I know you're having the time of your life, but get me out of here. I'll, I'll do my best. Let's try some more drawings. Please let my friend in the cage. God, that's an awful looking cage. Go out, little arrow pointing out, please. <clears throat> I don't think it's working. That looked like a no. You can't keep me in here forever. I want a lawyer. Where's my one phone call? Harak. Oh, go harak yourself. Cassius, please. Oh, shit. Let go of oh, oh, God. What are they doing? The other warrior is back. Not a moment too soon. It's shouting at the one that grabbed Cassius. Kraka, Nukadalaya, Chukatavum, Humana, Munu Kraka. 
Natella Humana. Oh, thank heavens. Yeah, you better put me down. You heard what the boss beetle said. Jameer. Looks like bringing the linguist along finally paid off. I would hardly call this a conversation. But whatever I'm doing, it's at least functional. Maya down! Um... Did they just motion for the two of us? I think we're supposed to follow the leader inside. You guys hang out here. We'll be right back. Do you think that's really wise? Maya down! Coming, coming. Doesn't look like we have a choice. Hey, you. Don't hurt my friends. Yes, your majesty, we're coming. This is quite comfortable, actually. I think we're supposed to have a seat on this bench. It's engraved, Cass. It's beautiful. Is that part of the chimney shroom that's burning in the hearth? No, it's one of the growths surrounding the village. It's giving this whole hut an oddly clean smell. <laughs> hmm. It smells like window cleaner. Yeah, like ammonia, that's it. Let's hope we're not about to asphyxiate. <sighs> Anything is a welcome break from the swamp. You weren't locked up, Buster. Well, almost anything. Mata do finyala. Oh, oh my god. What is that? It... It appears to be meat. It must be from the worm they caught in the swamp. Coolia! Coolia! Do they expect us to... Yes. I think they do. Uh... I guess I'll take one for the team. You you don't have to do this alone. Let's each take a bite. It'll look more polite. We are definitely going to get sick from this. I hope you know that. All in the name of science. Are, are you ready? As I'll ever be. Ugh, see you on the other side. Oh. Yeah, it's not bad. Thank God it's at least cooked. There's a surprisingly pleasant charred flavor, and forgive me for my triteness, but it really just tastes like chicken. I'm so unsurprised, I'm surprised. Could do with a little seasoning. Manata Anjadita Tamin. Uh, what are they? I'm still not sure, but they're probably asking if the food is good, since they pointed at the food. Oh, it's great. Could use a little salt, but thank you. Uh, yes, uh, thank you. Nadaran Amdiya Nakkanib Talamasha Hakan. They have a. Oh, here we go. There's a book, and the linguist is vibrating. Raka. That's... I think that's a depiction of the breach. Raka. Ma. Raka. Hasa. Daya Hasa. That's the link stone. There can be no doubt. Uh, Daya Hasa. Ma. Daya Hasa. Hivara. <gasps> Cass. Cass, look. What is it? That's one of the sigils from Vincula's book. It's it's a word for one of the deities. It, it only existed in the unknown language. The Akkadians didn't have a symbol for it. Ivara? Ma! Ivara! Ivara. I finally know that word. Cassius, I think... I think these are speakers of the unknown language. I'll be damned. We may have found them. Humana. They've used that word before. Humana. And look, there are humanoid stick figures on the page. I don't think those are just humanoid. Those look like husks, like Specimen 1. And there are beetles surrounding them like bodyguards. I can't believe this. <laughs> what? What? 
I remembered something from the translation. There were warriors, shields they used for this depth that kept them safe. These beetles are those warriors. The authors left them behind when they went to Necropolis, and they've been here ever since. Holy shit. Why didn't they come along? The breach should have been big enough. Maybe the cold would have killed them? Uh, they also seem to regard the uh, Hraka, or the breach, in reverent terms. Uh, maybe it was blasphemy for them to use it. These beetles. What are they? Uh, what do you call yourselves? Um, Ula Rabino. Na! Alka! Alka! Alka. You are Alka? Alka. Alka. Na! Humana? Ma? Car? They're holding two appendages up, pointing at the husks, and saying Ma and Car. Ma, I think, means yes, so Car must be no. Car? Car Humana? We're not husks, right? They call them Humana? That's really close to human. That can't just be coincidence. There could be a lot of meanings behind Humana, but maybe? Your guess is better than mine. Humana. We are humans. 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 Gulimahayazag. Alka. Urup. They're pointing between themselves and the beetles on the page. Alka. Urup. Urup. Oh, that's their name. They're an Alka, a, a beetle person, but their name is Urub. You are Urub. Ma. Urub. I am. Silas. 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 Yes! Oh my god, they understand. And I'm Cassius. Cassius. Cash. Yes. Ah, uh, close enough. You're doing a lot better in my language than I am in yours. Silas. Cash. Yes. Jarablin Yantak. Salaf and Yaf. Crash yard. Uh, why is Arub pointing at us? Oh, sure. Time for more caricatures. Is that what you two were doing while I was in the cage? I couldn't see from down below. Yes, uh, we've managed to communicate pictorially. I've learned a few things already. Good na, na good na. Crash yard. Slav on yavk. There's two circles, and they're pointing at you and I. They're not just circles, they're domes. Like the swamp caves. See these lines? They're for the underbrush. I think they're asking why we were found separately. Uh, if I may borrow this? Thank you, thank you. Let's see if I can depict an earthquake. There was an earthquake... And it swallowed the breach and split us all up. Like so. Hmm. Good attempt. Oh, thank you. Next time, let me draw, though. Hmm. <laughs> that might be for the best. Rahagat Larda. I yaklik mood. Raka malhama tayara ila badan. Ooh, more worm meat. Don't mind if I do. Cassias, Silas, Hakaf, Jab and Dundar Common Sahara. And just like that, our new friend Arub is gone. I think they wanted us to stay here and gave us more food to tide us over. Well, how are you feeling, Bookworm? Or should I call you Representative Caldwell, humanity's diplomat to the Alka? I... I mentioned feeling out of place attempting negotiations before, didn't I? But now, here we are. Cassius? Mm-hmm? I'm just now realizing we've been conversing with an 
alien this whole time. I know. I'm realizing that too. Isn't this the coolest shit ever? <laughs> I can scarce believe it. I, I just keep talking and Arub keeps talking and the human and Alka diplomacy is just happening right before our eyes. And we've made introductions, and we're eating their food, and we're learning about their history, all while sitting on furniture not made by human hands. Think about that. <laughs> I don't know if I should dwell on it. I'm getting a little lightheaded just trying to grasp the magnitude of this event. What did I tell you? I knew there was a reason we kept you around. You're a natural for this job, say. <laughs> I'm just thrilled our discussions are going well so far, and I certainly wouldn't be handling this nearly so well without you here. You really think so? I'm... I'm confident of that fact. I'm glad of your company. Hmm. I'm glad I'm here too. With... Oh, hey everyone. I guess they want us in here now? Oof. You guys still breathing? That's... Whoa. What is that? We're me... Is it really? Yeah, pretty sure. You wanna try some? Uh... Sure. Is it safe? <laughs> no idea, but we're going to find out. You ate some too, Sai. Against my better judgment, but I didn't want to offend our host. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Someone has to be on their feet when you guys all get horrible stomach bugs. Pun fully intended. Suit yourself. So what have you two learned? They call themselves the Alka. It appears that they, or their ancestors, were present when the authors of Vincula's Akkadian text passed through this depth. And we've introduced ourselves. The beetle in charge told us their name. It's Arub. Oh, I think Alex found out one of the other beetles' names! Did you now? Yeah, the really big one that grabbed us three. They didn't say much the whole time, but I told them my name is Alex. And finally, they just said, Crag. They grabbed you? Is that how you got caught? Yeah, the big one Alex is talking about, Crag, grabbed everyone. Really sneaky beetle. Everyone? All three of you? Yep. You might have noticed. Crag is really big. Put us up on one beetle arm each and walked us all the way here. What about you three? I think we interrupted a hunting party at work. We made our way to an adjoining cave, and two of the Alka speared one of the worm creatures. Oh, neat. I'll have to thank them for catching dinner for us. It's not too bad, is it? I was kind of expecting it to taste... strange? Weird? Hmm. But it's kind of plain. It needs something. Urub may have been doing us a favor. There's no telling what this meat may do to our digestive systems, let alone any spices or flavorings they may utilize in their cooking. They seem like a thoughtful leader. Yes, Arub seems learned, like a wise person of the tribe. Uh, the spearmen who captured us gave me the wrong impression of their society, I must admit. But look, this furniture has carvings clearly depicting Alka hunting worms, making huts, crafting spears, and a dozen other crafts I can't recognize. And most importantly, Rube has an illustrated tome written in the unknown language. Oh, be still, my beating heart. This just in, we might be the first humans to encounter another sapient species, but the most important find of the day is a history book. And with a written language comes a way for me to eventually decipher what the Alka are saying. We can communicate with them. That's all well and good, but what about the breach? How are we getting home? Looks like we're not, for now. They're very excited we came from the breach, that's for sure. But I'm not sure how we're going to go about convincing them to let us go back. What about Arub? Arub left. Uh, I presume to speak with advisors and formulate a plan. Uh, probably why they wanted everyone in here as well, uh, so we could pass on information. At least we're in no danger of starving, am I right? Get comfy, team. We might be here for a while. Stuck again, dadgummit. I reckon I'm gonna have to start getting used to being stranded breachside. We're making a habit out of it. Yeah, if you don't mind either being or eating worm food. Lighten up, Jay. Remember what I said about thinking optimistically? You should give it a try. Alright, um... Uh, 
Well, then uh, let's take stock. The good parts. We still have a few rations left. I'm glad they didn't confiscate our packs. Greg's wounds have been disinfected. Hopefully those things aren't venomous. And uh, peace talks are going well, I think. Uh, so I guess things aren't that bad. What's that? <laughs> I don't know. Is this another earthquake? It's getting stronger. See, this is what happened. <laughs> Syntax is a podcast by Twin Strangers Productions and is licensed under an attribution share alike 4.0 international license. Today's episode was directed and produced by Stella Rowan Odom and written by Ty Vaughn. Silas Caldwell is played by Ty Vaughn. Cassius Thatcher is played by Beth Sage Fung. Elizabeth Bellinger is played by Morgie B. Alex Yard is played by Jules Christine. June Dawson is played by Renee Helsel. Greg Washburn is played by Cody Burke. Jeremiah Woods is played by Eldrin Smith. Miss Evelyn Vaux is played by Kyla Crockett. Steve Beckett is played by Joe Cliff Thompson. Additional voices provided by Saf the Something, Derek Valen, Gage Odom, Marvin Soule, Tommy Worf. M. Mulder. Listen to other episodes, find our social media links, and make donations by visiting syntaxpodcast.com. Rate and follow us on your favorite listening platforms, tweet us at Twin Strangers P with your burning questions, and engage with fellow listeners on our subreddit, r slash syntaxpod. Know the depths? Wish for more. Special thanks to our crowdfunding campaign backers who supported us on this season. Derek Valen, Saf the Something, Michael Ireland, M. Mulder, Dallas Bird, Fox, Johan Kingsley, Rain Ward, Bluebell and Kai.